cafe anyway. Mike's Daily Podcast. Hi. We're in Podcastro Valleyton today at the last place on earth, located somewhere in Podcastro Valleyton. Cafe Mike's anyway. Daily Podcast. Cafe anyway. It's 1799 That's today's F- F- episode. And I could go for some a la mode of some kind that would be awesome and cool. Hey, this uh, time management thing can be cruel. You know, trying to get everything done in life and trying to... Mike's Daily Podcast. Oh, wait, I need to do laundry. Oh, wait, I need to pick up the dog's... Mike's Dry Cleaning Daily or something to that effect. Podcast. It's all very busy, isn't it? It's all very... Yeah! You got to get it done, all this stuff. And in the world of radio, you have very... Specific things that need to take place That need to happen Or a live show on the radio station Doesn't work right This could also of course pertain to television Live TV Things happen and have to be done Etc And in a live podcast as well But the thing about time management And the waste of time That we do We waste time with so many things Perhaps this podcast is a waste of time for you. Ah! Don't say that. No. But like we... What, what, what is it that we do? We, we use words like like and fill words. And when we should just get to the point and say what it is, we're, what we're thinking on our minds. We waste time by not thinking... I guess the thing I wasted so much time... During one time in my life Just sleeping And you know you need some downtime In your life And waste time doing nothing But then there's That nothing gets done And If it is getting done for you When you're doing nothing And let's say your mom makes your bed Well then you're probably five years old And here's today's And hello, five-year-old person who was just born five years ago. Thanks for listening to the show. But this podcast picture today is at mikesdailypodcast.com. You can see it now, and things are blooming in the Bay Area. Well, actually, things are raining in the Bay Area. I'm looking out, and I'm seeing the rain falling just outside a cafe anyway, and the dark clouds. And it is cafe anyway. Anyway. And then there's these beautiful little blooms happening on trees like this one near Lake Elizabeth in Fremont, California. You can see that picture. I took that just a few days ago, and it's at mikesdailypodcast.com. I guess I wanted to also mention self-worth. Something I wanted to talk about was that, well, my lovely lady friend, she, in her business, in her profession, she works in the... Basil... She loves to play with Basil, by the way. Basil loves to play with her in his older age. He's now like 10 and a half and doing rather well. So she is playing with him. And, well, she was telling me about this. She's part of a psychiatric group, psychologists, therapists, working with this group. And, well, they're, she's asked by the person who owns this organization to or you know to to help out with an interview okay so they're interviewing a potential psychologist and apparently this psychologist was demanding all kinds of payment for things she invoiced her boss for like okay you asked me this question uh that question required this amount of time to research it you owe me this much she it, it, and and she was invoicing for the strangest things, and I thought to myself, you, you can use the power of the invoice for certain things, like, oh hey, I came over to your house and I painted your house, so you owe me this much, and that that this is a payment, an agreement that we made on this payment earlier, and you know you th- this whole thing, but this woman who was interviewing. Or, or she was actually hired And then she started demanding All these crazy extra expenses To the point that My lovely lady friend's boss said No, enough 
that's it. But what self worth can go both ways. So that lady, that candidate who has now been uh, has left the company, she has a little too high of a self worth, I would think. But, and we're seeing that interestingly enough. As the generations go on, as we run out of letters naming each generation, that each generation has the, these incredibly even higher and higher, bigger self-worth uh, accumulations. They think that they're this great and they don't even acknowledge what they don't know or acknowledge that they may not be as high up in the world they haven't pay, they don't pay their dues they don't care about paying their dues and i just demand to have this now i demand to have stardom now we see that with the american idol which got canceled and came back and i think it's back but i don't know i don't care so yeah self worth there is an interesting thing but then some people have really low self esteem and i've always dealt with that in my world in my life self esteem issues and I can I can relate with people with self esteem issues. We're all kind of in the same boat. But people that think they're really too bigger than better than anyone, I don't get that. But hey, if you can find a nice medium between the two, if you can find a happy a happy moment where it works out with the two situations, then I guess it's uh that's the thing to strive for. But uh, the time management thing Oh Speaking of time management I wasted some time I have to admit Just a few minutes ago Watching Rachel Flowers Who is she? Well This YouTube video Showed her playing At I think it was a keyboard convention Playing the entire beginning And most of the beginning uh, Most of the first half of the song Let's see, it's been a long time by Boston. It's been such a long time. I think I should be going. She played the whole keyboard intro the, with the organ and everything. And she's probably all of maybe 16, 17, very young lady that was playing. But this was back in 2015, so she could be in her 20s by now. But amazing. And then I think. She may have even been blind at the end. It, uh, she was talking to someone, and I did, they didn't say, but she possibly was blind. So as we go outside a cafe anyway, we we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcast Valley. That was inspirational, and I don't think that was a waste of time. But, oh, we can waste a bunch of time on YouTube, can't we? And with podcasts. So don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. So many things we waste our money on. I would like to say something right here and right now, which is the, that all these delivery apps, unless you really can't get the heck out of your house and you're starving, maybe, but these Uber food or whatever, uh, the, the DoorDash, all of those things are just, and there's more and more being created every day. We got a bunch in the Bay Area. So people have no reason to leave their house. That's wrong. That just needs to stop And that's a waste of time Or money It's not a waste of time I guess basically Because you could just be at home Making the most of your time What am I saying? I'm saying Benita the Rodeo Queen is here Hi Mark It's Benita the Rodeo Queen How y'all doing? I don't waste my time No No I'm taking my time I'm just moving along Wow I'll forget about you after you've been gone it's a Boston song Yeah Look who else is here Hello Mark It's a disgruntled fiddle player Tell you what What? Boston was a pretty good band Yeah I think the guy was related to the guy Who created the, the, the Shoals footwear The insert Oh I use that all the time in my boots That's right Okay And look who else is here Pouring us a delicious root beer I think Hello, Mike. I make the delicious root beer. I'm the groom at the Oh, boy. I cut you. Why? Because you told everyone I am making my eyebrow. 
Okay, that sounded like the beginning of a nice blues song, what you just did there. Can you do some more? No, I'm going to cut you. That's a beautiful, that's a song, everybody. It's a new song called Cut You. Hope you enjoyed it. Wonderful. All right. So, with that, Aria Speedwagon, oh, different than Boston, but Aria Speedwagon, I was singing a bunch of those songs together with my lovely lady friend this morning. The I can't fight this feeling anymore And the what's a keep on loving you And heard it from a friend who Heard it from another friend who And then but I was telling her You know after I keep on loving I, I can't I, I'm gonna keep on loving you No after I can't stand this feeling any longer What's that one? Anyway they had a lot of songs That basically said the same thing didn't they But they were known for their ballads which actually got a little out of hand after the uh, I can't fight this feeling anymore thing. Because then they were releasing all these ballads. And I remember this one song they did, Ario Speedwagon, Kevin Cronin, who Kevin Cronin basically was like a folk singer that got together with this southern rock band and made music. Did you like them, Disgruntled Fiddle Player? Yeah, they were okay. They rock sometime, riding the storm out. Oh yeah, and the da 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 uh, uh, keep on rolling, keep on rolling, ooh. But they had this one really bad ballad that came out about a year or two after. I'm gonna keep on loving. No, I can't fight this feeling anymore. One of those I can't songs, and it was uh, the one, a flying song. Uh, in my dreams we fly, and at the top we fly. Let the world go on below us. We are lost in time, and I don't know really what it means. All I know is that you love me. In my dreams we climb, and at the top we fly. Oh, God, it was awful. It was, I think it made it to the top 10, though, but it was bad. You never hear it anymore on any 80s stations or anything. And they also had this one Here with me I know you're not late To turn around and make it straight It's my fate to have you here with me Oh boy And then they died Ario Speedwagon I mean they still tour But they tour with Journey and everything But ugh Poor Kevin Cronin See this is why I'm glad I never became a pop singer This is why I'm glad I never got like with a rock band And, and all that I mean I wrote a bunch of songs In my younger days But I'm so glad I never achieved success Because you just can't keep That intensity up The Grammys are tomorrow night It just makes me sad Because I know all these youngsters that are at the top They're at the top of their game right now That win all their awards and whatnot Are going to vanish the list is long, my friend. Very long indeed of people that got like best new artist and then we were n- nothing. Heard nothing from them again. But I think you should check out Rachel Flowers. She's a real talent. And don't watch the uh, Grammys, please. Lady Gaga. Out of the deep end, dead of the we're in the shallow now. Shallow, shallow, shallow This song is so shallow Next show, it'll be the wonderful Madame Rudevega Valentino and Bison Bentley You've got self-worth Don't waste your time and money And thank you for listening to this show Mike's TV Podcast is written and produced And performed by Mike Matthews His podcast is super easy to find Download or listen to his show And read his blog at Mike'sTVPodcast.com Email Mike now at Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.